Jipe, How I Did It, Episode 7, Phase 6, Exit, Flip. See the links to other episodes in the description below. So this is a starting position for the third exit phase. Exit phase 3, the sail flip. The feet are in the new position and the hands are still holding the sail. And they are holding the sail still in the places that you put them in the end of initialization. The mast is inclined backwards and the clue points forward. This is the starting position for the flip. The boom shaker is essential and this was the only element that I was doing correctly. And there is the release of the clue, of course. Boom shaker. It is actually such fast move, so it is impossible to say if it belongs to this phase or you do simultaneously with the footwork on the previous um, phase. So, which phase it belongs to, but important to do it. I discuss it here in the flip. Regardless, during this phase you will break down the connection with the boom with your hands that you established in the end of initialization long, long time ago. Remember your hands were positioned on the bomb firmly. Now you can change this. Do boom shaka with mast hand and do clue release with clue hand. But I want to talk about in the vision and the mast inclination. Vision is pretty simple, the same as before. Maintain this 45 degrees on the theta that you had established in the phase 3, carving. No changes. Still look forward outside. As for mass inclination, there was some confusion for me. Remember this advice. Keep the mass vertical. Do you remember this pig on a skew in Dasher's video with beautiful animation followed by advice to keep mast vertical? You see the picture and the animation are fantastic, but advice is not. What I think now, it is to our advantage that we start the sail flip with the mast pointing backwards. This is because our sail is not rotating. The rotational speed is zero and we want to rotate it as fast as possible. And we also want to finish the rotation without a sail still rotating and knocking the sailor out of the board. Consider this example. All right, here is a similar situation. We want to go from point A to point B. We want to go as fast as possible. So, if we want to go as fast as possible, we want to accelerate here to gain as much speed as we can and then we want to decelerate here. Imagine that this is like one traffic light, another traffic light and we are such a stupid people. We want to go as fast as possible. We accelerate on green and then we press the brakes and we come here. And all we want to do is cover it in the uh, shortest period of time. So our graph of velocity versus time, for instance, it would be acceleration to this point and then deceleration to this point. And this point of time where we're here and this point of time where we're here and this is our max in certain point where our speed is the maximum possible speed. Likewise, we are starting with the mast inclined back. The gravity starts to accelerate the rotation. And if we do nothing, the sail will knock us down in the end. To prevent this rapid gain of rotation speed, we drag the mast forward towards the vertical. This vertical mast position is when the sail is not accelerating anymore. The mast is vertical, the sail is balanced, but if we keep the sail in this position, remember otherwise, keep most vertical. It will still rotate with the same maximum speed and still will hit us. We need to start deceleration. 
And to start this deceleration, we need to incline mast forward. With the mast forward, the sail will be rotating slower and slower and slower. And when it finishes the flip, it will come back to us with zero rotational speed. So this is only one nick of a time when the mast is vertical, not keep it vertical. This is the same moment like on this graph when acceleration is finished. Maximum speed is reached and we start deceleration. So this drawing more movement of the sail is extremely important. Oh, I'd like to draw a picture about how the tip of the mast moves during three exit phases. So this is a mast base. This is where we finish our carving and we start to exit and we slice the mass forward and it goes like this around and it comes here and then we do our footwork and when we do our footwork the mass goes back and this is during footwork and the second exit phase and during the third exit phase the tip of the mast is goes forward. That because we draw it, this is where the mast is vertical and this is where we finish our turn. So, exit phase A, exit phase B and exit phase C. Also, notice that the sail rotation itself is only increased when we are drawing mast forward and that's a good news. The clue is falling back because of gravity and moving the front of the sail from back, back to the nose only increases the speed of this flip of this rotation. We kind of rotate both things simultaneously, the clue by gravity and must by our hands because of this diagonal hand movement. There is also additional benefit of this movement. It is that at this moment the board speed is minimal and so is apparent wind. It may be zero, it came from behind on big sails, light wind and may be coming on us from the front. The sail beam may be easily backwinded. This inclination of the mast ensures that their forces are most negligible in comparison with gravitational rotation. Notice that we start with the mast inclined back and we will drag the rig forward. Uh, your body will move back. Again, reactive motion, law of conservation of momentum. The screen shows what will happen if you leave the mast inclined back. You will be knocked out. This screen shows what will happen if you bring the mass to vertical and keep it vertical. So stop your drag forward. The mast is vertical, rig will be still rotating because of inertia and ring will knock you out. Another little thing to discuss about this advice about keeping the mast vertical. What if after footwork I will follow this and somehow I don't incline mast back and I was trying to do this for years. If it is vertical from the very beginning, apart from the fact that it is counterintuitive, does not feel right, it doesn't bow well with what I was discussing in the previous exit phase, a footwork when the body is rotated 180 degrees, it works extremely slow. In this case, the sail will have no rotational speed whatsoever to begin with. Maybe it will be defined by the strengths you push the clue the last moment, perhaps by the strength of the apparent wind and its direction, which is at that point is unpredictable. Apparent wind may be blowing from the back and maybe from behind. Flip will be affected in well in all ways possible. Initial inclination, inclination of the mast back solves all those problems. Lastly, this mast moved forward and your head out and looking forward 
it is your ideal position to start planning on the new reach.